Hello. The objective of this tutorial is to demonstrate how workgroup management is achieved in WISE using the Perforce plugin. This tutorial assumes that you have a basic understanding of a software configuration management system such as VSS, Subversion, CVS, AlienBrain, or Perforce, which is what we will use in this tutorial. To perform all the steps in this tutorial, you need to have a configured Perforce workspace on your computer. Let's start by creating a new WISE project and specify the location where the project will be stored in the Perforce workspace. Press OK. We will now configure WISE to use the Perforce Workgroup plugin. In the Project menu, select Project Settings. In the General tab, select Perforce from the Workgroup plugin drop down list and click the Config button. Make sure all the fields are properly set. The client field should be the name of your computer. The port field should contain the same information as the one contained in the Perforce Windows client application. This is usually the name of the Perforce server within your organization and a port number. The host field usually contains the same name as the client field. The user field should contain the username you use to log on to the Perforce server. Press OK to close the Perforce configuration dialog and then press OK to accept any changes you have made. In order to properly understand how WISE handles workgroup management, you first need to understand how WISE saves projects on disk. There are three types of files that you need to be aware of when working with a project under workgroup management. The project file. It uses the wproj file extension. This file is used to save all parameters global to the project. The work unit files. These are used to separate the project in distinct parts so that they can be edited simultaneously by different people without conflict. We will look at these in greater detail later in this tutorial. And finally, the original audio files. These are a copy of the audio files imported in WISE. Let's now take a look to see how these files are found in WISE. In the project menu, select the file manager option. Under the work units tab, you will see the wproj file and the default work unit files. Default work unit files are automatically created by WISE, so you can begin to work right away. Default work units should never be deleted. We will now add these files to the Perforce Depot by checking them in. First, we need to select all the files in this tab for the initial check-in. Perforce will use the word Add for this action. Right-click and select the Mark for Add option in the contextual menu. In the process log dialog, you will see all the actions that the plugin has performed in Perforce. Now click OK. Note that the status of the files has been changed to Add. This tells us the files have indeed been marked for addition in the Perforce depot. Now, right click the same selected list of files again. Select the Submit Changes option from the contextual menu. Enter a meaningful description regarding the check in and then close the workgroup manager. You will notice that the icons representing the work units have changed in the Project Explorer. They are now displayed with a small green icon. These icons notify you that these files are now controlled by configuration management and haven't changed since the last check-in. Now, we will create a project structure where many sound designers can work together at the same time. In order to avoid any possible conflicts, it is recommended that you create different work units thus preventing designers from working on the same work units at the same time. Under the Actor Mixer hierarchy, create a new work unit and name it Level 1. The Pending Source Control Operations dialog will appear. This dialog informs you that a new file was created and gives you the opportunity to mark it for addition immediately. You can view this as a shortcut to something you could do later in the Workgroup Manager. It is generally a good idea to use this operation to mark the files for addition right away, so that you won't forget to add them later. An exception to this would be if you are creating a test work unit that you don't want to add to Perforce later on. Select Set New Items to Mark as Add. The Process Log dialog now opens, informing you of the executed Perforce plugin operations. Close the dialog. In the Project Explorer, you can now see the new work unit we just created. A blue plus icon has been added. This indicates that this work unit has been marked for addition but has not yet been submitted to the Perforce Depot. 
Now, let's create a second work unit named Level 2 using the same steps. These two work units will be worked on simultaneously by two sound designers, eliminating any possible conflicts. Note that work units contained in the actor mixer hierarchy are used to create sound object structures. Other types of work units can be created where team members can contribute to the project simultaneously. These work units include events, sound banks, switches, states, game parameters, effects, and soundcaster sessions. Let's now take a look to see how a WISE workgroup can also manage the audio file sources contained in your WISE project. Drag an audio file from the Windows Explorer directly onto the Level 1 work unit and select Import in the Audio File Importer. On the Pending Source Control Operations dialog, select Set New Items to Mark as Add. Again, the Process Log dialog now opens, informing you of the executed Perforce plugin operations. Close the dialog. Let's now focus our attention on the File Manager dialog. You can see that the two work units, Level 1 and Level 2, have been added to the list of files, and that their current status is set to Add. In the Sources tab, you now see that your audio file has been added. Right-click on the added file and select the Submit Changes option. Enter a meaningful description for this check-in. Descriptions are important. In the event that file conflicts occur later in your project, the description could help you pinpoint what changes were done in specific check-ins. The two work units Level 1 and Level 2 are still marked as Add, but we didn't submit them in the Perforce Depot in the Workgroup Manager. This was done on purpose to show you another way to perform Perforce operations. Right-click on the Level 1 work unit. At the bottom of the contextual menu, you will see a Workgroup menu item. Select the Submit Changes menu option and again, enter a meaningful description and accept the changes. This menu allows you to make check-ins directly in the Project Explorer. Note that the Level 1 Work Unit icon has changed from a blue plus sign to a green indicator. This tells you that this file has been checked in and is up to date with the version of the file located in the Perforce Depot. Let's now make a change to a Sound Object's properties to see what happens when we want to commit these changes to the project. Double-click on the sound to display its properties in WISE. Set the volume of the sound to minus 10 dB. Note that a little asterisk appears to the right of the Level 1 work unit name. This notifies you that the contents of this work unit has changed. We will now save these changes. The Pending Source Control Operations dialog appears, telling you that changes were made and you need to perform related source control operation. To be able to save the project, you need to check out the files, or in the Perforce vocabulary, open them for editing. Select the Check Out Items When Replaced option and then click Yes. Note that the icon of the work unit has changed to a red icon. This notifies you that the work unit is checked out from the Perforce Depot. This means that you can edit and save it without getting further notifications from the Perforce plugin. Let's try this now. Set the pitch of the sound object to 500. Once again, you can see an asterisk added to the right of the work unit's name. Save the project again. This time, you receive no pending source control notification warnings. You checked out this work unit and can now work on it at will. Once you've finished your work session, you can save the project and submit all the changes to Perforce so that everyone else working on the project can also have your recent changes. Let's submit the changes we just made using the File Manager. Open the File Manager. You can see in the Status column that the Level 1 work unit has been edited and that the Level 2 work unit has been marked for addition. Right-click and select Submit Changes in the contextual menu and accept all the changes. Once again, add a meaningful description. In the Project Explorer, you now notice that the work unit icons are all green, indicating that they have been checked in. It is always a good idea to get the latest versions of the different files of the project before starting a work session. This allows you to synchronize your local project 
and receive all of the latest changes made by other contributing members of your team. To synchronize your project with the Perforce Depot, open the File Manager once again. On the top right corner of this dialog, check the Get Latest option. Note that you can only get the latest work units or sources. For this example, select All. This ensures that you get all sources, changes, and new work units that co-workers may have added on their own workstations. Close the Workgroup Manager. You can now begin your own work session. This concludes the WISE Perforce plugin tutorial.